you're firing me because the uniform you forced only me to wear looks good on me? Okay bye bye. My first job out of school was as a language teacher in a private school, and it sounds like it's straight out of a fiction book. I was employed to teach grade 6 to 9. However, because I was the only teacher for that language, the owner begged me to teach grade 1 to 5 when I had any time to spare I wasn't paid for the extra work. I taught each of the classes I was employed to teach, twice a week, and the other classes once a week. Aside that, lunch duties were added to my work, so I hardly sat all day. The school had a preschool at a different location, and all the teachers there wore uniforms. The preschool workers all females, were the only ones required to wear uniforms. I was the only female teacher on the grade 1 to 9 staff. One day, the owner calls me to her office and asks me why I'm not in a uniform like the preschool staff. I tell her no one informed me about wearing uniforms in my department, and also the male teachers do not wear uniforms. She gets slightly angry and orders me to sew one with my own money. I try to protest but I see there's no way getting through to her. My parents convince me to let it go and sew one. When she sees me in the uniform, she goes off about how figure flattering the uniform is on me, tells me I'm trying to seduce the boys, and calls me an adult worker. She orders me to sew a new one or don't come back. My uniform was not short way below the knee, didn't show cleavage, nor was it tight. I ignore her and she fires me a week later, while I'm in the middle of a class. I just packed my stuff and left. The next day, the principal calls me to tell me the owner is asking why I didn't show up that day. Duh, you fired me. She calls me herself and orders me to come back to work, talking about how do I expect the kids to eat lunch. Good luck finding a donkey like me to work for that pittance. I went back though, but not without double my pay. I then quit the next month.